Welcome to Cooking with Nikki. Today we'll be making habanero glazed wings. It is as yummy as it sounds. So we are starting off with three pounds of um, washed um, chicken wings. We wash it with some lemon or vinegar or even both. And we take off all that extra stuff off of it. If you're from the Caribbean, that's how we clean our chicken. So that's how we're starting here. I have a, a seasoned blend. I'll have it, the details in the description below so that you could know what to add to this wing to, to um, marinate it. All right, so we're gonna put, we're gonna, we're gonna add this spice rub here on it. And then we could either fry these wings, we could bake them, or we could just throw them in the air fryer. Whatever is easier for you. And this is a perfect, perfect snack for the Super Bowl weekend that is coming up. All right, so as you can see, we're already halfway there. Get all the seasoning on there. And then today, I'm choosing to fry this. I'm just trying to get this quick and out of the way. And then while this is frying, we're gonna be making the habanero glaze sauce. We're gonna be using Nikki's Cuisine pepper jelly, hot pepper jelly. Y'all have to try this. This is the second batch of chicken frying here. I decided to put the last batch in the air fryer because yeah, this frying is becoming a lot, lot more work than I expected it to be. So we're gonna um, air fry it and then the last batch and then we're gonna toss everything together in the sauce. See, these ones are in the air fryer, they're looking good. All right. To make the sauce, we're gonna start out by adding, this is a double batch, so it usually calls for half cup of the pepper jelly, but I'm using a full cup, this is eight ounces. We're gonna add that in. Literally, you throw everything into the pot and you make it simmer on low. Right. We're, gonna, we're gonna next add some um, brown sugar. You can use coarse brown sugar, hack brown sugar, any kind. Just basically use what you have in your house. You don't need to go out and run out and buy stuff to cook every time. I always say use what you have. This recipe originally called for lemons, but I only have lime on hand. So that's what we're using today. So we're going to put a couple tablespoons of lime in here to give it an extra tang. Right. And for my folks in Belize, I know you can't find Nikki's pepper jelly over there, but I know you could find other brands. But for other people that are up here in the U.S., I ship anywhere in the U.S. So just hit up my website. You could place your orders. This is a must-have in your kitchen. All right, we're going to put a little bit of garlic powder in here. And we're going to put some onion powder. And literally, what we have to do here is let this simmer on low until it becomes an, a beautiful... Glaze. Let's take a look at our glaze. So it's about to start to melt. Yeah, we just have to leave it. We have it on low right now, or medium to low. We're just gonna leave it there for a minute, stir it occasionally. So this is the glaze we have here. Everything has um, just melted down. We have had this simmering for like um, 10 minutes on low. So all the sugar, uh, brown sugar and everything has been incorporated. And so what we're gonna do is once the wings are finished frying, we're gonna pour them directly onto the wings and toss it with a little bit of scallions and um, some cilantro. You like in the your fried version of this chicken better than the fried version. I'm um, fried and very crispy and we're gonna be tossing the sauce now. Alright so I have the wings all fried. I have it in a bowl here and we're gonna toss our sauce. This is our glaze. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all of this yet because it's quite a bit of glaze. Put it in there. Put some cilantro, some scallions. We're gonna to toss it together. Oh, look at that. Looking yummy and juicy. We're gonna have to try this. And y'all are gonna have to try this. This is a perfect appetizer. Or you could use it as a main and um, And this is also good, you know, for appetizer, but you could also use it as a, um, you know, for a weeknight dinner. And you could put um, whatever side you want, some macaroni and cheese, or some macaroni salad some mashed potatoes all right so we're about to try this wing let me take this one from over here and all this sauce oh that's really really good wow your guests will be impressed and they will want the recipe once again thank you for cooking with me i really enjoyed my time with you i hope you try this recipe let me know how it turns out and i would love to see your pictures and your comments on what you think about it have an awesome day remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel